Captain. There is active fire in the building. What do you want us to do, Captain? I want you to get packed out. Grab a hose line. And go inside and put out the fire. But Captain, why can't I spray water through a window? Because you are a firefighter, not a t-shirt firefighter. We put fire out from the inside. You would make more progress peeing on the fire than spraying your hose line through a window, like a scared proby. But we were taught not to go inside buildings that are on fire. If you were taught not to go in a building fire then what did they teach you in fire college? They taught us to put out hay that was on fire in a connex box. What the hell is it with fire school these days? When have you ever been called to a connex box on fire? Don't they let you burn houses for training anymore? No. They say it's too dangerous, since when is firefighting not supposed to be a dangerous job? They taught us that it's okay if the house burns down because that is what insurance is for. Are you fucking kidding me? No sir I'm not. That was a rhetorical question. So go inside already and put out this damn fire before we make a parking lot out of this guy's house. But I can't go in. Why not? Because we don't have two in and two out. In order to go in a fire, the college teaches us to wait until there is two firefighters outside for every two firefighters inside. What the fuck do you mean we have to wait until there is two in and two out before we fight the fire? Is the fire going to wait until your other, two safety conscious pussies get here? No. It's not. Besides, most fire departments can't afford to carry enough personnel to comply with the state's bullcrap to in and to out rule. But Captain, there is no one here to pump the truck. How will we get water if we do not have a pump operator? The fucking truck will pump itself. You should have put it in pump and had this fucking fire knocked down before I got here. Never mind. I will go put out the damn fire myself. And you can go back and set some hay on fire in your connex box. And don't forget to make sure you have two assholes standing outside in full bunker gear with their thumbs up their asses. When are these people going to learn that they are creating firefighters that do not have a clue how to fight fire, and they practice so much safety that they forget about teaching them to do their job? The firefighters that come out of school these days, don't know how to read smoke, and don't know how to look for signs of structural collapse. Firefighting is supposed to be dangerous. An effective training is going to have to be dangerous to a certain extent too. Either man up and do the job. Or if you're too scared. Don't try to become a firefighter. <laughs>